Hello all, I am Wilson, and today I'm joined with my colleague Xu Chai. We are from Huawei Technologies. Today we will be presenting our paper on extending Sickle's programming paradigm with tensor-based SIMD abstractions. So we have a few key highlights that we want to talk about, starting off with the front-end language extensions, followed by the custom compilation toolchain, followed by the custom LLVM optimization passes we have implemented. And last, we will talk about some of the brief benchmark overviews that we are currently experimenting with. Okay, for the language extension, we extend the tensor concept by adding shape, stride, coordinate, address space information to the tensor definition. There are two special tensor concepts. Uh, one is the local tensor, the other is the virtual tensor. Local tensor means the compiler will maintain the tensor. Virtual tensor actually is a view of the original tensor. Uh, virtual tensor will share the same memory of the original tensor. We also defined, uh, we also support several format of the tensor, such as big N, small Z, big Z, small Z. We define the behavior of the tensor of assignment uh, among global tensor, local tensor, and virtual tensor. Uh, we also support tensor member operation uh, slice. This slice operation will return the virtual subtensor from the original tensor. Uh, we uh, define the tensor element-wise operation. It includes unary, binary, tensor scalar, compile, selection, and also conversion operations of the tensor. Uh, we also uh, support tensor reduction operations such as reduce max, reduce mean. Uh, mostly important, uh, we support matrix multiplication operation. This is a hardware accelerated uh, operation. Uh, besides that, we also support the tensor copy operation, TCPI, TCPO, TMove. All these uh, operations are responsible for moving tensor from global memory to the uh, user buffer. So in order to support both the SQL language along with our custom tensor extensions, we have implemented a custom tool chain inside Bisheng LLVM's Clang driver. This does both the parsing and also semantic checking for the SQL part along with our tensor extensions. The output of this component, as shown in the blue, is then LLVM IR with tensor intrinsic instructions. This is then passed into the custom and also proprietary Ascend LLVM compiler where we do a selection of optimizations, starting off with generic scalar optimizations, and then followed by the custom intrinsic transformations into ascend target specifics. And then that, of course, is passed into the back end where it gets converted into a binary. OK, for the RRVM optimization passes, we introduced uh, three core data structure, tensor context, tensor table, tensor graph. The tensor context is a model level singleton class which contains a tensor table and a tensor graph. Tensor table uh, collects all the tensor related information inside the function and uh, this tensor graph collects uh, CFT related information on the tensor. Uh, for example, like the instruction, insertion, position. Uh, we create one uh, transformation path. We call it the uh, all-in-one transform uh, path. This transform path will do the actual uh, OP lowering, uh, address allocation, synchronization, double buffering work. And uh, this transform path uh, requires the analysis path. Uh, we need to get the uh, analy uh, analysis results, uh, such as uh, def use analysis, Leibniz, uh, OP lowering analysis, address allocation, synchronization, double buffer analysis results for the transform path. All the uh, path dependency are demonstrated on the right hand side uh, picture. So we have a variety of different benchmarks currently written using 
sickle along with this tensor extension. Just to name a few, that would include general matrix multiply and also lower upper inverse matrix compute. Both of these benchmarks use the sickle construct single task and parallel four. This is to demonstrate the ability that it can distribute and partition data into parallel cores, and that we have shown that the performance gains when using more cores is beneficial. However, it will also require more fine tuning. This is for future work. And so this concludes our presentation. Thank you for your time. For more details, please refer to the paper itself.